everyone here's a question from exercise 2.2 second question the chapter is whole number of classics question is find the product by suitable rearrangement so we have to find the product product means we have to multiply the numbers and they're asking us to rearrange them so we, do, we don't have to multiply the numbers directly but we have to arrange them in such a way that the multiplication will be easy now let's start with the first question in first we have 2 into 1768 into 50 right so this is equal to now we know that 2 into 5 2 5 is 10 right so 2 into 50 will be 100 so I'm gonna arrange like 2 into 50 and into 1768 so this will be 100 multiplied by 1768 now we have to just put zeros we don't have don't multiply do, don't do the multiplication whole process whenever you're multiplying any number with the zeros like hundred or thousand or one lakh something then we have to just put these two zeros at the end so whatever number you're multiplying we have to just put those two zeros or three zeros how many zeros you have here now if you in case you're multiplying with 200 or 300 then you have to multiply with two and three now here we have one so 1 into any number is the same number so it will be 1000 not 1000 so 1 7 6 8 and there's a, in 100 we have a 2 zero so followed by 2 zeros if you have a thousand you will get three zeros at the end that's it so if we got here a uh, 1 lakh 76 thousand 800 that's the first one now let's go for second question so in second one we have 4 into 4 into 166 multiplied by 25 now again 4 into 25 is 100 so let us rearrange that so 4 into uh, 25 this will be in bracket multiplied by 166 so this is 100 multiplied by 166 so like I said when you're multiplying this with 100 or 1000 with any number so 166 into 1 will be 166 and we have here two zeros so put these two zeros there that's it this is the answer and then the next one this problem C let me raise this part okay so in the third one we have 8 so 8 into 291 into 125 now here remember 8 into 125 is 1000 okay you can multiply you can check 8 into 125 is 1000 so I'm gonna multiply these two numbers first so 8 into 125 and then multiply it by 291 so this will be 1000 multiplied by 291 so when you have a number ending with 0 multiply 291 and 1 so 291 into 1 is the same number 291 followed by the we have a three zeros now so put those three zeros at the end that's it then the next one so it's two lakh ninety one thousand then the next question that is problem d so here we have six uh, twenty five multiplied by 279 multiplied by 16 okay now here if you multiply 625 and 16 now remember whenever you have a number ending with 5 or 0 you when you multiply with smaller number any number you will get you'll end up with a number which is having a zeros at the end Okay, you can see in case of 8 and 125 we got 1000 similarly here I'm going to multiply 625 and 16 because these two are small numbers here I'll get here 10,000 so let me arrange 625 multiplied by 16 in a bracket then multiplied by 279 so always multiply the numbers which ends with 0 or 5 so this will be 10,000 okay, then multiplied by 279 so when you're multiplying it 279 one that is 279 followed by four zero so zero 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 that's it then the next one so here we have 285 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 60 now if you observe here we have a two numbers which are ending with 5 and one number with 0 now which number you're gonna take so here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna multiply 5 and 60 because this two are small number and we can easily multiply 5 6 is 30 right so th this will be 285 so 285 multiplied by 5 into 60 
I'm going to put this in a bracket. So 5, 6 is 30. So 5 into 60 will be 300. So 285 multiplied by 300. Now this is equal to, now you have to multiply 285 into 3. So far you had a number like 1000, 10,000. So you have to multiply with 1. Now here we have a 300. So 285 multiplied by 3 you should do. Which will be 855. So 855 will get. And then we have a two zeros here for 300. So put those two zeros. That's it. Then the next one, that's the last problem. So 125 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 25. Now we have four numbers here to multiply. Now here we can multiply uh, two two numbers here. For so first I'm going to multiply 125 and 8. Now if you multiply 125 and 40 you will get the answer in 5 because we have a 5 and 0 at the end so you're going to end up with a number having a 5 at the end. So I'm going to take 125 and 8 because we had a case in the third question 8 and 125 we got 1000. So I'm going to multiply 125 and 8 I'm going to multiply 40 and 25 because 25 into 4 is 100 so 25 into 40 will be 1000. Okay, So this will be equal to 125 multiplied by 8 will be in one bracket and then 40 multiplied by 25 in other bracket. So 125 into 8 is 1000 multiplied by 4 into 25 is 100 and since there is a 1 0 here it will become 1000. So 1000. Now 1000 into 1000 it is very simple 1 into 1 is 1 and then we have a 3 zeros here 3 zeros here. So total 6 zeros will get here. that's it it's like a 10 lakh so that's it i hope it's clear how we have solved you have to just arrange in such a way that you will get a zeros at the end and then solve it further now in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching